Hey, welcome back to another Mr. Harris RYC YouTube channel. Reaction videos is what we do, but we do it from a vocal coach perspective. All right, so who do we have up today, sir? We have Gabriel. We remember this guy. Gabriel Enrique. Yeah, um, so we started covering him um, probably about, what, eight, nine months ago? Yeah, about like a year ago. Right, and I don't think he was on, because I know he's on the... Um, he's on AGT now. America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. All right. Um, so America's Got Talent. Now they're just picking everybody up from social media, right? Yes. Like so. Everyone on YouTube that has a following and social media, they are snatching them up and putting them on the show. Uh, so if you're a good social media person, you can get on AGT. But if you're not, you're not gonna make it. All right. All right that's another story. Um, cool. This is the guy I once dressed like a custodian. Now look at him. I mean, I was going crazy over his sweatsuit. Nobody got me the name of that sweatsuit. Did you see it in the comments at all? I did not see it. See, see, I guess I just can't get it. I just, it must've been custom made or something. Um, but he looking pretty cool right now. Let's, let's check this out. Just don't see, but here you would only take the time I know in my heart. You, you. nice for this for settles. Who gets scared sometimes? Who is on our way strong? Can't you see the hurt of me? I feel so alone. I want to run. The effect he got from that audience, bro. Look at that, Everybody, everybody's standing on their feet. Wow. First of all, that was a great song choice, sir. Um, for your voice, man, it got a chance to use the falsetto. That you didn't have to like do any different arrangement because he already has it in there. Not to where you went though, right? But you was able to do that. And once again, people just don't respect a man to be able to have a whistle voice like that. He's gotta have, Hmm. I was trying to think who else. Well, we've had we've we've covered a couple of people with pretty nice whistle voices. Besides Dimash, I'm gonna put him at number two. Um, mm, and how he goes in and out of it, he might give he, he could give Dimash some money. Dimash would get him in other ways, just crush him in other ways. No disrespect. But man, how he goes in and out of his forsetto is so beautiful. Now, there was only one part where I felt it was forced, and I don't know the song well enough to do it. So you had the verse, chorus, verse, and then there was this interlude that I just heard before, like a modulation or something, that I felt like he went to this high, for, high whistle voice. And I guess, and I understand what that is about. So like, when you put together your, your piece, you say, well, here's the things I do well. I got a nice mask, I have a nice tone, I can riff, I can run, I can do alternate melodies, whatever it is you say, and then you need to put it in that piece of music. So I guess somewhere within the arrangement, I wish he had arranged that one little part, and I don't know if you guys know what part I'm talking about, 
a little differently that it was singing more natural how he got to those extra high notes right this is before he went to the last chorus out right um that's the only that's the only critique i could possibly give on this one um other than that this dude is killing and he kills you because when you watch him you don't expect his voice to be that high and you know what it's not even that it's high it's that thin because man I didn't, do my, I didn't do my homework good enough on this one while he was playing because I'm always tapping notes and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if he hit a note mm, higher than a B. Yeah. I think it's a, but the song might have been an A, but I don't think he hit a bunch of high notes. You know, for a tenor to hit a C, C sharp, it's not uncommon. But because his voice is thin, it sounds like he's singing higher. And then it almost sounds like there's no breaking point between his, his natural mask voice into his falsetto. And his whistle voice is so strong, right? So he's singing notes from here and, and beyond, but he's making it sound like it's flawless, unlike others would have to have a, a, a breaking point. We have our mask voice, and then we may have a falsetto, and then our whistle might be up here, which means we can't sing any of these notes. So we have to arrange it without having these notes. Doesn't sound like he has a breaking point. And I, I pretty much bet a hundred bucks that he doesn't have a breaking point from his mask through his whistle, right? That's deadly, which means every semitone he can hit in some placement, right? Um, pretty, pretty, pretty dope, right? Um, love it. Now, question. Because it's all about critique. This is all about getting better. Um, to me, life is a journey. You always want to get better, better, better. You, and you try getting better until, you know, until you die. That's really how this works, right? Like, um, or until you give up, give it up. This is not his first language. His first language is. It was Portuguese. Portuguese. Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Rick give the answer to this one. We'll put Rick on the spot, right? Right. So Rick, does it when you when you hear someone who sings not in their native language? and you hear some of the diction that is slightly incorrect. Does it bother you, bother you or do you appreciate more? Like, does it bother you in a sense like, you know, you're not saying that word right and, and bother is probably the wrong word. Does it get your attention to say, man, he's pronouncing that word wrong. So now you've kind of lost a step in the song. Or does it remind you this is not your native language and you appreciate it more? I think I appreciate it more. That's a good answer. You have to say that right now because it's... <laughs> right. You really don't have a choice because if you say that it bothers you, get rid of Ricky, you know? Um, but, you know, I wonder from, uh, from others, like, is it a bother? Bother is such a strong word. Does it get your attention? Does it take you away from the movement of the song when someone pronounces a word incorrectly, right? Um, and I'm talking specifically from those who are singing outside of their native language, right? Or do you look at that and be like, hey, all the other words are right on point. He just got to work on that word. Either way you look at it, it takes you away out of the flow of the song. So either, you're, either it took you away and you're appreciating it more or it took you away and you're saying, that, that word, he's got to work on a little bit more, right? Curious to know what you guys would have to say about that because I always admire folk that can sing in a different language. I mean, it's hard to speak in a different language and you're singing in a different language is absolutely incredible. So amazing, 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 amazing. And because I'm a person, I play a lot of to get the details. Whoever did the blocking for this was spot on, right? So there's a star, right? And the star goes whatever. And, and he's standing right there at the peak of that star. It was like perfect. Just like, bam, like somebody said, you stand right here when the song begins. You right there on that X, that's your spot. I mean, that's, just, those are details, all right? So whoever the stage manager is or whoever plotted and did the blocking for this, good job. Good job, really, really good job. All right, Gabriel did not let us down. Bro, you showcase your talent. You are blessed with that ability to sing those incredible notes. And you just got a beautiful, soothing voice, period. You got a really nice voice, man. And that's a great song. And I hope you find a writer 
that can write you a great song. Because you have a great voice. And a lot of times what people do with great voices is sing okay songs. Because they say, hey, my voice is going to compensate for it not being a great song. Look at Whitney Houston. You can sing like a duck and sing one of her songs and it's still like, I wanna run to you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right? It's still a good song. <laughs> Whether you sing like a duck or a cartoon character. Find a good song, man, because you got an amazing, 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 amazing talent. And I hope you become a huge star, big success um, by putting out some, an amazing song. All right, closing, I always say, make sure you love yourself. Very, very important that we love ourselves and the love that you have left over. Make sure you share that with somebody else.